The Russian Federation complained that drones attacked the Tykoretsky district of Krasnodar Krai on the night of September 21. The enemy forces allegedly dealt with two drones, but the falling debris of one of them caused a fire that spread to explosive objects. Explosions have begun, residents of a nearby village are being temporarily evacuated to nearby settlements, said Krasnodar Region Governor Veniamin Kondratyev. According to the ASTRA Telegram channel, local residents reported an attack on an ammunition depot. Journalists also learned that drones in the village of Oktyabrsky in the Tver region attacked the 23rd arsenal of the main missile and artillery directorate of the Russian Defense Ministry. Tver region governor Igor Rudinya claimed that drones were allegedly shot down in the southwest of the region. Emergency service specialists are working on site together with representatives of the regional administration, he emphasized. Later, the Russian Ministry of Defense claimed that they had intercepted 101 Ukrainian aircraft-type drones. 53 UAVs were intercepted and destroyed over the territory of the Bryansk region, 18 over the territory of the Krasnodar region, 5 over the territory of the Kaluga region, 3 UAVs over the territories of the Tver and Belgorod regions, 1 UAV over the territories of the Smolensk and Kursk regions, the enemies boasted. Ministry stated that they also dealt with one drone that was over Crimea and 16 drones that were flying over the waters of the Sea of Azov. Videos have appeared online showing the aftermath of a drone attack in Krasnodar Krai. The video shows a huge column of smoke and fire, and powerful explosions can be heard. Hundreds of servicemen were believed to be located at the Russian Armed Forces Artillery Depot in Toropets, which was hit by Ukraine. Russian propagandist Anastasia Kashevarova drew attention to an important moment in the explosion of the artillery depot of the Russian Defense Ministry in the Tver region. Hundreds of Russian military personnel were presumably in the affected area. She wrote about this on her Telegram channel. According to official data from the Russian authorities, 13 people were injured in the destruction of the warehouse. However, there are serious doubts about the veracity of this information. Kashevarova drew attention to the fact that the Russian Defense Ministry had previously boasted of the large capacity of the warehouse. The generals claimed that the facility's utility block alone could accommodate 200 people. This means that the total number of personnel is most likely higher. Typically, the utility block is designed to accommodate support personnel such as cooks, service personnel, and those responsible for supplies, medicine, and maintenance of basic infrastructure. The main combat and command staff of the base occupies other living quarters and is not included in the calculations of the utility block. Thus, the total number of personnel can be two to five times higher. For example, if 200 people are part of the support services, then the base can accommodate 400 to 1,000 people, including combat personnel, technical personnel, and command. How many of ours died there, and judging by the explosions and footage, nothing was left of the bodies? Kashevarova wrote. She spoke very boldly about the Russian military leadership, accusing it of lying and surrendering Russia. How much more can we lie and make mistakes? How many times have we heard that it's enough to panic, enough to write something, enough to blame the Ministry of Defense and the general staff? There's a war going on. So really, those who sit with calm faces and watch the explosions that look like mushrooms, at least panic a little. There's a war going on, and we have mistake after mistake, complained the Z propagandist. She is sure that the huge funds allocated for the construction of the warehouse were stolen and the facility itself was built haphazardly. The SVO was in its third year and stupidity was stable. Formations in full view of the enemy continued driving in columns without a distance, continued, 
storing all the shells in one place in full view of the enemy, continued. Filming and publishing photos and videos confirming their hits from Ukrainians continued. Helicopters and planes were hidden in foil hangars, or not hidden at all. Kashevarova was angry. She called the Russian Ministry of Defense a bubble.